Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And it's a road two. It's Wednesday afternoon. I'll go to my dad's. So. Oh dear lord. It's been a while since I've done a, like a bit of a face-to-face -face chatty type of thing. Um, I've realised that the uh, end of day diary doesn't really work for everyday life for me because I just don't do much. Um, it's just the same old, same old. Um, Monday I can guarantee I've been painting minis um, and then going to Aldi's mum's for tea um, and then Tuesdays chances are getting up going to the uh, club coming home spending a few hours at home either painting or editing videos whatever and then oh going to Steen and Eaters for D&D coming home every sort of two eat watching some telly and going to bed Wednesday going to my dad's Thursday doing my show um, Friday not doing much at all apart from possibly painting or whatever Saturday. you know it goes on and on and on I can tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing each day because it's the routine I live by um, so I've decided instead of doing that just to, to scrap the idea <coughs> what you may have noticed is that we have some DVDs being oh DVD some videos being um, sort of like uh, ready to view at the same time each day um, for a week or so um, those videos were unboxing videos and that's because I had as you may have noticed a couple of packages from Kickstarter we had the uh, Nova Atus Wave 2 which should have finished I think on Monday and yesterday we should have started the Sentinels of the Multiverse Oblivion um, ones that uh, <coughs> um, that turned up on the same day so I've got all of them on the same day um, the reason I've done it like that is because I started editing and I put them up and I had planned on doing more videos besides but last Tuesday um, I got struck with a bit of a, a stomach bug and was in the bathroom for most of the night um, and then I was just in too much pain um, aching all over for a few days afterwards so I didn't manage to get anything done um, Sunday I was out with Ali's mum uh, Ali's auntie and a friend of Ali's mum's um, and we went up to a place called now is it Ragged or Ragged or something like that it's, up, it's a place near um, Penrith in Cumbria and uh, Ali's mum and sister and her, uh, her friend went up while we was in Scotland and we got a phone call while we were there um, they'd seen that there was an Andre Roux um, concert being shown in the cinema there and she hadn't seen it advertised anywhere else thing is it was also going to be shown in Wigan as well but for the sake of having a nice day out we decided to go and I must admit I'm glad we did it was a long drive for me especially after um, all the ache, aches and pains I had over the previous few days but it was well worth the trip it's a lovely little visitor centre that's built sorry about that I do apologise I don't know where we were but um, I'll start again for anybody who because uh, I don't know where we went up to um, well, I'll swap, gloss over it. We went up to a place called Ragged, um, or Ragged, I don't know how it's pronounced, up in Cumbria to sit to watch a, an Andrew, Andre Roux um, concert at the cinema there. Um, I said we could have gone to Wigan, but for the sake of a day out, we decided to go there. Um, 
it was a lovely little visitor centre. It's uh, built into the side of a quarry, apparently. Um, <clears throat> there's a few little cafes and a bar there. Um, visitors, uh, like gift shops and things like that. And there's two cinemas. One of the cinema, oh, there's a Roldale experience as well, though, which was nice. Well, I'm saying which was nice, which would be nice if I'd have gone in to see it, but I didn't. But they were showing at the time uh, the movie Matilda that was going on, and uh, and the other cinema was on Rear Room. The cinemas, the seats were sort of like on slopes like that. You know, there were steps going up, it was a steep slope, so you had a good view of the screen, and it was a big screen. Now, you had a good view of the screen wherever you sat, without it, without anybody's heads getting in the way, that kind of thing. Um, and we really enjoyed the, uh, really enjoyed the uh, concert. Um, we, went to, we went to last year's at Wigan, we went to this year's at uh, Rugged. Uh, so I really enjoyed it, so I do quite like a bit of the... Uh, anybody who knows me knows I like classical music and uh, the things like um, Johann Strauss and things like that, so... Johann Strauss and Richard Strauss and Wagner and Mozart and all those kind of things I do enjoy. I may not be, you know, 100% knowledgeable on everything to do with it, but... Um, I enjoy listening to the music and that's the important part. So yeah, we had a lovely afternoon on Sunday. Um, <clears throat> what did I do on Monday? I can't remember. What did I, do on Monday? I don't actually think we did anything on Monday. Um, I really can't remember what we did. Weird. I hate it when that happens. Days just go by. And, um, Not a clue. Really not got a clue. Uh, but again, yesterday I was in the uh, club in the morning and I went for the Christina Anita's um, <coughs> last night for D&D &D, and I did the final unboxing video for Sentinels of the Multiverse but that one wasn't to do with the Kickstarter. It was uh, something extra that I've had to buy from eBay because I'd missed a couple of expansions mini expansions, uh, you know, the card decks. So, um, yeah, uh, all that's finished. So I think what we're going to do um, is carry on doing these little road twos whenever we're going anywhere. Uh, if there's any time we have anything to say, we'll do these. Um, and if we do something really good during the day that we can talk about. We'll probably do an end of day video but the end of day diary videos I think it, I'm not going to run with it to be honest. It's <coughs> it's not something that we can stick to to be honest because there's only so many times you can even say well we didn't do anything today. Thanks for watching. Bye. Um, you know, our lives are boring. <laughs> Um, so it's not as though we can actually go vlogging, doing something exciting every day because we don't, we have now the money, the energy, or the, time, or the uh, what do you call it? Um, well, the money and the energy is really the main two parts. I suppose we do have the time to do it, but we just don't have those two key ingredients for the recipe. So, oh well. Um, Yes, so that's that. Uh, we have, as we said in the, the last of the diary videos, we have um, got steps closer to um, joining Charlie Hospital Radio. <coughs> um, we are going to be going to do a training session in two weeks time, picking up our badge then, and uh, my parking permit for the car, so I can park in the staff car parking type thing. Um, so we're going doing that in 
a fortnight. And then Monday afternoons, we're going to be doing a show with, uh, just to keep us on the go. How long that show will last, I don't know. It may just be a temporary one, we may just carry it on. I've got a clue. We, we will wait and see. Um, but we are planning on moving over our Thursday show from right into the Twitter radio to Charlie on Twitter radio. <coughs> that is the intention. <coughs> we have, for that show, we have to do um, what's called a decade of music. We we'll pick a decade from the last six years, or six decades rather. Uh, six or seven, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, noughties, and 2007 decades. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we have two more decades to go from this run, and then we're going to do another run of that at Wrightington, and then that is it. We're going over to Charlie. So that's going to take us mid part through September. When we join, when we uh, move that show to Charlie, um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, the Monday show, I'm not sure. We may actually try and get it so that we get guests in to have a chat with people and that kind of thing. Um, we've got a couple lined up already. Um, those who've been guests in on a, um, a Monday with us already, um, or Monday and Friday, which will be. The folk singer Corrie Shelley and the uh, author Malcolm Hollingdrake, who does the uh, Harrogate series, Cyril Bennett's detective uh, series of books. Um, really good books, really nice chap, great stories. Can't say any further than that. Corrie Shelley, Mad as a Box of Frogs, awesome songs, fantastic singer. You know, look out for him. Um, but yes, <coughs> that's what's going to be happening over the next few weeks. Um, <coughs> now I have, I do want to get back into painting again. Um, after the break in Scotland and not being well last week, I've not really had a chance to uh, get back to painting again. So uh, hopefully over the next couple of weeks I'll be back into painting the Vampire Hunters minis. Um, I'm not going to paint the, in fact I might paint the rest, next two Titans out of the uh, Rise of the Titans box from I think Battles Pantheon and then get back to um, Vampire Hunters because I've just got the, the heroes from the base game to do for that. I don't know yet, I've not decided. I will do either one or the other. Whichever I do first, I will do the other afterwards. And then we'll move on to a different game. Um, <clears throat> because I've got an Overators, I've got Labyrinth, I've got um, uh, Conan to get doing more on, Star Saga. I have numerous games that I want to get going with. And I can't get going with any of them. Um, the Tanks game I don't think I am going to paint. To be brutally honest with you, and if I do, it may just be a primer, base coat, and a bit of a wash. I'm not going to go overboard with them. <coughs> um, mainly because I'm not really good, very good at doing the camouflage patterns and things like that. So I'd sooner not. I'd sooner just didn't even play. To be brutally honest. And let's face it, it's coloured plastic and it looks fairly adequate. Yeah, look, I'm saying fairly adequate, it looks really adequate for the purpose of playing the game, so that's fine by me. It's not as if there's got like bright red and bright green and bright blue. <laughs> They're all sorts of colour coded to the um to the uh fractions that are in there. I need to get some more German, I need to get some Russian. And then I've got some of each faction. Um, <clears throat> and then we can start having a decent game. We're planning on having a game very soon, me and Ellie, learning how to play it. And uh, hopefully we can get that sorted out. 
as I say, fairly soon. Um, <clears throat> on, when, on Friday morning, we are going into a place in Wigan, looking at a, a venue for the wedding. Um, we're planning on getting married in uh, 2020, in the spring of 2020. So, um, hopefully, I'll be in a, I'll have a new home, and then we're all ready for, move, um, for moving in the <coughs> together, which will be <coughs> good. <coughs> oh, my throat's gone dry again. <coughs> Need a drink. Sorry. <coughs> um, about this cough, um, I did mention. I think I mentioned um, a while ago that uh, they were thinking it might be a case of COPD as well as very severe asthma. Uh, last Monday I went to the doctors and had a <coughs> sorry, uh, and had a, a bit of a chat about it, and I've got yet another spray. This particular spray is one that they only give to people with COPD and they've given it to me for a month to see if it does any difference or makes any difference. Um, <coughs> it's not as bad but when it starts irritating, it starts irritating but it feels as though the congestion is um, breaking up. <coughs> so I think that's what's making it a little bit irritating at the moment. <coughs> but. Uh, Hopefully the spray will work. <coughs> and it was not a spray, it's one of those that you click open and suck the dry powder out of it. <coughs> um, <coughs> so it does feel a bit easier but when the floor starts getting dry and I need a drink, I start getting it uh, starts irritating particularly. So um, <coughs> that's probably what it says at the moment. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to be going in a minute because I'm very near my dad's. Uh, so I'm going to be going in and getting my laundry done and uh, then going up doing my church work. My dad's told me he won't be in for a bit this afternoon because he's got a meeting with a To church out of the area, so he doesn't know how long he's going to be there. So, if we can get everything done and dusted before he gets back, I don't think I'll see him today. <coughs> <coughs> Who knows? <coughs> I just want to get in and get a drink. <coughs> I shouldn't have, I don't think I should have done this today because it's, it is hot. I've not got the windows open so you can hear me properly. I've not got the uh, cool fan on so you, again so you can hear me properly. And I think that is what's probably irritating me because I'm overheated. Um, <coughs> but we're just around the corner from my dad's now. Um, <coughs> and uh, when we perk up I will be saying my farewells. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, as I say, watch out for some painting videos um, over the next week or so. Uh, not decided as yet. If you've got any preferences, if you'd like to see more of the, um, <coughs> what you call it, uh, Titans done. So we've got two more Titans from that Rise of Titans box. Uh, who the, uh, I can't remember. Um, but if you'd like me to do one of those, uh, finish those off, let me know. If you'd prefer me to do the... Heroes from Vampire Hunters, let me know that as well. Basically, just let me know what you'd like to see. But for now, that's it. I'm here, I'm getting out, I'm getting a brew. So until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now. <laughs>